So you're considering manufacturing a product with 3D printing. That's awesome. There's huge advantages that can come from that, both in save tooling cost and more flexible supply chain. But what are some of the risks that you need to be aware of? We're gonna talk about that in that video and show how you can kind of minimize those as you're going along. So one of the biggest risks that you can have with 3D printing is actually the scale of it itself. Sometimes if you are using a supplier, they cannot always produce at the same rate that your product needs. So you need to be very clear upfront of, can they match what you need? to have produced, have it quoted, have it verified. Go through the standard process, make sure the timeline is very set and clear, and then ensure that they have the capacity to meet what you need and create a manufacturing agreement to that effect. But this is especially a danger if you're using internal production, because your internal production might overestimate what it has, or you might not have the familiarity of how many parts it can actually make reliably. So. Often a service has a better insight as to what they can actually produce, but internal production might possibly be more affordable. The other issue that can come up with manufacturing with 3D printing is design. Most organizations attempt to take an injection molded design and just say, can you 3D print this? And whilst many organizations or service providers will say, yes, we could 3D print that, they, that doesn't mean that they should. When designing to use 3D printing to make final products, it's very important that you actually design for that end process. What 3D printing is good at is very different from what traditional manufacturing or machining is good at. So you need to make sure that you're working with whoever is making your 3D printed parts to optimize the design of it and take full advantage of the process. It will save you cost, it will improve the product, and it will ensure that you don't attempt to put a square peg into a round hole. Another issue that many organizations have with 3D printing is consistency. And while again, this is very often brought on by internalizing the production process, because 3D printing is a discipline and it's not simply a machine. Putting a machine inside of your factory to produce 3D printed parts very often is not a very good option because you might not have the additive expertise that you need to do it well, which creates a high non-reliability inside of the system. So when you're working with an organization to produce your parts like Slant3D, you need to ensure that the processes and requirements are set up very clearly to ensure that the parts produced are reliable. This is a setup process. So you need to go through, order samples, verify them, go through your normal testing procedures to make sure that they're meeting your standards. Everything that should be done with a standard product. But since the rules are different and since you have a lower amount of familiarity and the service provider doesn't know exactly what your product is, just so long as you're clear and concise about what the requirements are, you can avoid any sort of issues with non-reliability and create a very reliable, robust product on a consistent basis. So just make sure that there's a very open line of communication and then you do not have to worry about the engineering reliability problems because so long as you have those requirements defined, the service provider will be able to meet those. So those are three of the main kind of concerns and problems that can come up with manufacturing a product with 3D printing. It is a 3D additive is amazing. It eliminates the cost of tooling. It's still able to produce at the same scales affordably. And it gives you so many other advantages like the ability to change the design on the fly. But there are risks that can come up and it would be silly to say that there aren't, especially with a new technology that you might just be learning and becoming familiarized with. So just make sure that when you're working on this, partner with the company that is helping you with the manufacturing. So they understand what your product is and are able to meet what you are looking to have met. Have a great day, everybody.